Hey everybody, Max Kevin here. It's Little Cutie Podcast. It's not too long. Well, I'm just uh, just enjoying my Monday Monday morning coffee right now, dude. It's Monday. You guys have a good weekend. You have a fun weekend with the with the boat. You get, you take the family out for a picnic. Let's go to the little park. It's pic- It's May. Is it May? Well, it's April. It's late April. Nice time for a picnic in the park with the fam fam. I don't have a picnic in a park. I uh, you know had a little barbecue with the boys. It was great this weekend. Went over to my buddy's house. He's got a nice, nice uh, apartment there. The uh, fourth floor of his building. He's got like a little rooftop, rooftop area for barbecues, for dance parties, anything, anything you want to do on the rooftop there. And he had a great view too, man. You could see like pretty much all of Tokyo. You could see all the uh, the landmarks. You know, you could see the Sky Tree. You could see Tokyo Tower. You could see Shinjuku. You could see Shibuya. You know, you couldn't see Mount Fuji though. There's some goddamn apartment building in the way of Mount Fuji. Goddamn. It's goddamn apartment dwellers. No, but uh, that was uh, that was a good time, you know. Hanging out. Hanging out, barbecuing, you know. Just eating meat, you know. All the boys all the boys were sitting around the barbecue, you know. With our beers, you know. And all the girls are sitting in the, sitting on like a blanket, you know. They're all talking about, oh my god, look at oh, your hair looks so cute. Oh my god, look at your hair. Oh, that's, that's, that's a cute outfit. That's a cute outfit, you know. Me and the boys were like, is the meat ready? We gotta eat some more meat, dude. We're men. Alright, we gotta feed our muscles. Let's barbecue that meat. I like my I like my meat well done. And extra rare at the same time. I like it rare and well done. Let's eat some more meat. You know, so anyway, that was uh that was a good time. You know, I kinda got I drank I got a little drinky drinky drunky. I got a little drinky, I got a little dranky, you know, so uh, yesterday I uh, had a pretty bad hangover. I was like, oh God, oh God, even still today I'm kind of, I hung over, but uh, definitely not 100%, man. I'm on two days, two days, two day recovery here, you know, after a day of drinky winky. It's two day recovery, that's what happens when you turn, when you get old, kids, all right, your liver stops working. You can't fucking just party all night, just be like, dude, fucking party, dude. I'm I'm 21. I don't care about getting hung over, dude. Give me another beer, dude. Give me another Pops Blue Ribbon, dude. Give me another Natty Ice, bro. I don't care about drinking good quality alcohol. Just give me whatever shit's the cheapest at Vaughn's, dude. Give me the Vaughn's brand beer. I don't even care, bro. You know, so long. It's kind of hung over. A little hung over yesterday on Sunday when I was uh, watching the UFC 261. You guys see that? Oh, man. Oh, man. What a great... Uh, what a great fight! What a what a bunch of great fights there. Those, those are some great fights. Those are some great uh, great great moments. You know, Joe Rogan was freaking out. Joe every, every fight, he's like, "Oh my God, the DMT is kicking in! Oh my God! Oh, oh I'm freaking out!" You know, he grabbed he grabbed Daniel Cormier and uh, what's that other guy's name? Anik and Anik. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I've only seen this written. You know? He's like, "Oh my God!" Every time there's a knockout, it's like, "Oh my God, the DMT is kicking in, guys!" You know. So, yeah, but anyway, of course, we had uh, Anthony Smith. Anthony Lionheart Smith versus Jimmy Crute. And, uh, you know, Anthony Smith this time was like, Yeah, Crute, I, you, think you're, you think you're up and coming, dude? I'm a veteran, bro. I'm, getting, I'm just getting better, bro. I'm just getting better. I went five rounds with, uh, with uh, John Jones. He kneed me in the face, and I kept fighting, dude, because I'm a Lionheart, bro. Yeah, that was uh that was a big leg kick fight there. You know, Jimmy Crute was uh kicking his leg there. Kicking Anthony Anthony Smith's leg. And uh Anthony Smith was landing some shots there. And then uh all of a sudden Anthony Smith's like, Oh, you wanna kick my leg, huh? Let me show you how it's done, little boy. He kicks him right in the knee, right in that nerve there. That that low calf kick in the nerve there. Right when he kicks it, Jimmy Crute's leg just goes to bed. It's like let it let it bros, let the boys that drink too much and pass it off. I'm, pa- I'm passing out, you know, so then his left leg just stopped working. Like, it wasn't broken or anything, but, it, you know, it's just the nerve. I guess he had, like, nerve damage or whatever, so he couldn't move it, you know? And so, it, like, the last the last two minutes of the round there, he can't even move his leg, so he just, like, goes in for a takedown. And he, he keeps Anthony Smith, like, on the ground. He can't, His leg doesn't even work, but he, and he's keeping the fight. He's keeping the fight on the ground there, you know? It's like props to him. And then he, he's like trying to go back to his corner when the round ends there. And uh, 
It's like he can barely he can barely make it back to the stool, and the doctors come over there looking at him they're like, "You move your leg." He's like, "Yeah, yeah, I can move my leg," you know. And then he's about to start the second round there, and the ref's like, "Are you right? Can you fight? Can you move? Walk towards me." He's like, "Yeah, I can move." He walked towards him. He's like, "Look, I'm fine. Let me fight." And then he takes a step back, and then he, his leg gives out again. He's like, "Oh god, my leg." And, and the ref uh, waves it off there. He's like, oh, god damn it. And then he punches the uh, he punches the cage, you know. He's like, you goddamn cage. I hate you. You know, I wish you were my stepdad. You know, and he, he punches the cage there. He's pissed off, dude. That's what happens. You got you to gotta protect your legs, you know. Yeah, that's uh, that's just add, add it to the list. Add it to the list, the guys that lose their legs. Lose their legs to that calf kick. Okay? We, got, we got Sugar Sean. We got uh, Conor McGregor. We got Jimmy Crute. We got every, everybody's losing their legs. Speaking about losing their legs, next fight, holy shit, dude! Uriah Hall versus Chris Weidman. Both these guys, the old man fight, you know? They fought ten years ago, or whatever, when they were both up and coming. You know? Now it's time to rematch, dude. Dude, we're both coming back, dude. People counted us out, but we're coming back, bro. You can't cut us all, dude. We're coming back. We're gonna make a statement, you know? And uh, Chris Weidman, Chris Weidman kicks him there, and I don't think Uriah Hall didn't even check it really. He just kind of took it, you know. And uh, Weidman's leg just snaps, and you, you can watch the slow motion. If you look at his face, okay, watch the slow motion thing of Chris Weidman's face, right? So he kicks the leg, and then it, he doesn't re really react like it's in pain or whatever. And then he goes to put his leg down and step on it, you know, and his but his bone's broken, so of course it doesn't support it, right? <laughs> just the, his face changes like as soon as he steps on the leg and he starts falling down he's just like oh, and it's all in slow motion he's like oh, you know? it's like holy shit dude that same exact injury he caused Anderson Silva I don't know like 8-7 years ago to, to defend his championship and the same thing just happened to him how crazy is that dude that's so crazy man crazy shit yeah Uriah Hall first First uh, UFC fighter to win a fight without ever throwing a, a strike. He didn't throw one strike. <laughs> I think no one's ever going to beat that, right? I mean, how do you how do you win? He'll always have that record, right? No one's ever going to be able to win a fight again without ever throwing a strike, you know? So anyway, I don't know. Maybe hopefully Ry Hall can, uh, can uh, get another fight pretty soon, considering he didn't even throw one strike. So I think he should be able, he should be ready to fight there. Of course, then we have the girl fights. Of course, I put money. I put money on Jessica Andrade because I thought the odds were uh, the odds were way too high. But uh, I was wrong. Holy shit, dude! Holy shit, man! You know, I thought I thought Andrade would uh, give her some trouble there, give her some trouble with the wrestling because she's real strong. She got that real strong wrestling. And uh, but Shevchenko, man, Shev, she just she just showed she just showed as DC likes to say, there's levels to this shit, dude. There's levels to this, and uh, she's just on another level. Holy shit, man. God, when she was walking out, when she was walking, when she was doing her walkout, that look on her face, she she's just like a stone cold killer, man. Like, she looks like she, I, I I don't know how to explain it, but when she's doing her walkout, when Shevchenko's walking out, that look on her face, like she's just, she's ready to kill someone, dude. <laughs> it's, it's so fucking scary. I've never seen anything that scary in my life. It's like, oh my god, she's gonna kill me, dude. You know. And, uh, well, I mean, that was me. She just totally out-wrestled Andrade. She just, she just destroyed her. She just totally destroyed her. It's like she just wanted to humiliate her, you know? And, uh, then, of course, there was that one time Andrade, they were up against the cage there, and Andrade was trying to do her signature lift-up slam on the head thing, and she couldn't even lift her up. Unless she, yeah, man. Shevchenko's, yeah. Her and Amanda Nunes, they gotta, they gotta fight again. I mean, that's the only... That's all, that's all there is. That neither one of them have any competition, you know. Uh, so I really think Amanda Nunes should go down. Should go down to one twenty five. Try to lose some weight. Lose some weight, chubby. All right. Squid be a big fat fatty, you know. Of course, then we had uh, Wei Li, Wei Li Zhang, Zhang Wei, Zhang Wei Li versus uh, Rose Namajunas, and uh, I put money on Thug Rose because, because of course I explained the MMA math last time. You know, Rose is probably the better uh, the better martial artist, and it showed. It showed, man. One head kick, gaboosh, later. Later, Wei Li. Later, Wei, Wei Li. Have a, have a fun plane trip back to China. You're going to have a pretty bad headache on your plane trip back to China. Tell Chairman Xi we don't like communism here in America, all right? 
Tell Jeremy she stop stop censoring Facebook, all right? You want to censor Facebook and Google? What do? She's a kick to the face, you know. And uh, yeah, that was uh, that was good, man. That was good. Rose is back, you know. She kept saying, "I'm the best. I'm the best." <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know much about Rose. I guess maybe she's got some uh, depression or just like she doesn't believe in herself enough or something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, man, she kept saying, I'm the best. I was like, yeah, Rose, everybody knows you're the best. Everybody th everybody always thought you're the best. If Ajraj hadn't slammed you on your head, you'd still be the champion, you know? Probably would have be beat Whaley that first time anyway. And, uh, yeah, so that was great. We'll see, we'll see what happens in that, in that league, you know? Of course, it's just really Rose and Whaley and, uh, and J J Jair chick are those, that triangle. Uh, those chicks are probably, I mean, Rose isn't going to fight Jin Jair chick anymore because she already beat her twice, you know, so... Should probably have a re should probably do a rematch with Wei Li some uh, next fight. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. You know, of course. Then we had Kamaru Juice Man versus Masvidal. Pretty much, uh, pretty much went how I expected. You know. Uh, yeah, Masvidal was doing all right in that first round there, and uh, it kind of looked like Usman was gassing a little bit. Like he was throwing these, these wild, these wild hooks. that just like would never hit. It's like, whoa. I was like, what are you... Like, towards the very end of the round there, he, he was looking as though he was, like, tired and throwing... I don't know if he was just fucking with him. If he was, if he was just trying to... to... to, uh, goad him, as we say. If, if Juice Man was kind of trying to goad Masvidal into, uh, being more confident and attacking. But one thing I noticed after that first round there, even though, like... I think I think Usman was just pretending to be tired. Because when they went to his corner, like, he was barely even sweating. You know, he was still breathing through his nose. And they show Masvidal, he's just covered in sweat. Breathing out of his nose, you know. Or breathing out of his mouth. Then, of course, in the uh, in the second round there. Good douche! One boot! One butt! One punch, bro! One but Man, that was such a strong punch. <laughs> if you see those... If you see those pictures, you know, afterwards. With the uh, sweat... The sweat coming off Masvidal's face there with that punch. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit, bro. That was... Uh, that was... Uh, that was quite a punch there. Usman's really improved his striking, which is uh, which is which is amazing, you know. He's he's only gotten better as a champion, which is which is crazy, you know. Usually these guys don't get better. But uh, yeah, there's really no one. I mean, he really needs to do a rematch with Colby Covington. I guess that's it, you know. That I mean, Col Colby Covington is really the only one that uh, gave him any trouble at all, you know, and um, because. Colby just had the superior striking, quicker striking, man. Kamaru Juice Man just improved his striking even more, so. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens, Larry. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it for the UFC there. I guess that's it for the UFC. It was a great night. Great night for fights. Great night for fights. Especially when you're hungover. You're just like, oh, God, I'm hung. I drank. I'm an old man. I'm hungover. Oh, God, Chris Wyman's leg, that's fucking terrible. That's going to haunt my dreams. You know, anyway, thanks for listening. Maybe we'll see you tomorrow.